The Life and Sad Ending of Catherine Helmand. Catherine Marie Helmand was born on July 5, 1929, in Galveston, Texas. She was the only child of Joseph and Thelma Helmand, and her middle-class family had no prior connection to the American entertainment industry. But that wasn't enough to stop little Catherine from dreaming about becoming an actress. Her parents' marriage didn't last long as they got divorced a few years after Catherine was born. She was then raised by her mother and grandmother. Her family members were ardent Roman Catholics, and she was given lessons on Christianity right from her primary school days. She did her early schooling in a Catholic school and constantly participated in school plays. By the time she reached high school, she was already a fine and beautiful actress. She wanted to learn more before plunging into an acting career, and hence, while in her high school, joined a local theater and did odd jobs with minimal pay. But she considers those days to be the formative days of her career, as she used to learn the nuances of professional acting by observing other actors. She was also made part of a few of the plays. Once out of high school, she underwent professional training in acting at the Dramatic Academy, and she also got well versed in musical theater. While at Texas University, she graduated in theater, and once she was done with it, she moved to New York and became part of the theater scene. She started her acting career in New York in the mid 1950s and performed for the first time in As You Like It, a play. Her performance was appreciated, but as she carried on with more theatrical productions, she realized that although the theater was a lucrative place to start her career, it wasn't financially viable. Hence, she started organizing acting workshops and spent some time at New York University, where she taught the nuances of acting to students. After concentrating some more time on gathering enough acting experience, she started auditioning for roles in television. After ignoring some minor roles, she finally said yes to Car 54. Where are you? The series had her playing a small role, which she was uncredited. She carried on with similar roles, and this went on for quite some time. It was only at the beginning of the 70s that she was finally getting noticed by the directors, and she started getting some meaty roles. In 1971, she started her big screen career with a minor role in the film Believe in Me. She then got a slightly better role to play in The Hospital. Despite her good looks and acting skills, it seemed very hard for her to break into the major roles. In 1973, she returned to her theatrical roots for a while and became part of the Broadway show Great God Brown and ended up winning a Tony Award for her performance. Her success streak continued, and she earned acclamations for her performances in productions such as Don Juan, Private Lives, and Mixed Emotions. In the 1975 film The Legend of Lizzie Borden, she got a major role as the sister of the titular character. In 1976, celebrated director Alfred Hitchcock roped her in for the film Family Plot, which was a successful dark comedy thriller. In 1977, the executives at ABC Network handpicked her for a role in the series Soap. She played the role of Jessica, a sassy matriarch of the Soap family. Her performance was met with thunderous applause. In 1984, she got the breakthrough role of her career, which finally made her a household name in the United States. She played the role of Mona Robinson in the sitcom Who's the Boss, and gathered some Emmy nominations for her role in the successful series, which ran for eight seasons. In the meantime, she played the role of Jonathan Price's character's mother in the film Brazil. The film has developed a cult following since its release, and around the same time, Catherine did a few workshops to sharpen her skills as a director. She then exhibited her directorial skills by directing four episodes of the series Benson, and also received directorial credit for an episode of Who's the Boss. Her career had picked up at a steady pace by then, and she was being hailed as one of the well-known character actors of the 80s. She then went on to appear in a guest role in the British version of her sitcom Who's the Boss. She also kept her Hollywood career afloat with key roles in films such as Shady. Overboard and Lady in White. 
For Lady in White, she received a nomination for a Saturn Award under the category Best Supporting Actress. In the mid 1990s, she starred in the trippy comedy film Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, which starred Johnny Depp in the lead role. The film wasn't well received initially, but eventually it achieved cult status. It is now known as one of the best stoner comedies of all time. She then continued with playing a reoccurring role in the universally hailed sitcom Everybody Loves Raymond, and made a guest appearance in the fantasy drama True Blood. She has also lent her voice for several animated projects, such as Cars and Batman: The Animated Series. In her personal life, in 1957, Hellman married George N. Martin. After their divorce in 1962, she married her second husband, David Christian. They remained married until her death. Sadly, Hellman died on February 23, 2019, from complications of Alzheimer's disease at her home in Los Angeles, aged 89. She was cremated, and the ashes were given to her family.